everyone, it's Ben and Ashley, and we are here for a special episode just to show you where we are at after four months of being up here. Yeah, it's been four months, huh? Mm hmm. Oh, man. Even, I think a little over four months. Wow. We've come yeah. a long way in four <laughs> months. <laughs> well, you guys will see it, but uh, yeah, we got up here in March. Mid March. Mid March, and that was kind of a kind of a a weird situation. I didn't think we I don't think we expected to first off be up here in March and expect the coronavirus and all of that stuff going on <laughs> right when we were supposed to be moving up here, you know? Yeah, we were originally planning to leave mid-April, um, and then the whole pandemic hit mid-March, and we were just a little bit worried about whether or not we'd be able to get a U-Haul and move everything up here in April with what was going on mm -hmm. um so we bumped up our move about three weeks and uh left our jobs a little bit early and started our journey sooner yeah i think it was like kind of a rush just getting everything out of the house you know we had been basically storing everything <laughs> that we were moving up here in our garage at home. Yeah. So our garage was just packed with stuff. And so we got up, we got that U-Haul, we got that thing loaded up. Yeah, <laughs> and like he said, it was definitely a rush because it was, I think, like a Monday, and we made the decision later that day on Monday just because of the lockdown happening. And then we ended up leaving, I think it was that Friday, Mm -hmm. So, wrap stuff up with work, plus we still had to pack all of our personal belongings because all the stuff in the garage was like for the greenhouse and for the garden and everything. So, it was it was quite a rush, but once we were up here, we were, were really glad that we left sooner and it gave us more of a head start on getting the greenhouse up, which took us longer than we expected. Yeah, we were kind of like... I think we got up here at like midnight that night. We did. We loaded the U-Haul in the morning, yes, hit the road. That's right. And I remember my parents saying like, you sure you don't want to just sleep, get some sleep tonight, and then drive up the next day? And we're like, no, we've got to be up there. There's a reason we need to be up there when we're, yeah. when we're going. And got some snacks for us? Yeah, some good stuff. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. What Let's you got? Let's try these turmeric relief shots because our muscles are going to be really sore. It's pineapple, ginger, lemon, turmeric, and cayenne in organic. So each, each of us got that. Oh, sorry, cows. And then that same company made these, makes these little wraps. Um, it has like cauliflower, sweet potato, and some other Ooh, things in yeah, it. That looks good. And then I got us coconut water and then some um, almond flour crackers with some uh, organic hummus and then some chips and guac. Mm. So, a little tasty treat to this celebrate will be... our first uh, or our day heading into our adventure. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a good thing we left because we got up here late Friday night. Saturday was a beautiful day, good day for unpacking. All right, so we got the U-Haul here. And so I'm gonna open it up and show you guys how we packed it, show you what's in it. Hoping this opens, we had trouble before. Oh, oh shit. That wheel. Okay. Now you. Okay, round two. We got this. <laughs> this stupid wheel got caught and we couldn't get it out. But we're doing it now. So here it is. 
Okay, so we finally got it open. We forgot to record that, but we finally got it open and we've unloaded a bunch of stuff already. Started um, unloading the greenhouse stuff, a bunch of plants. It's quite a mess, but we'll get it organized. But we got shelving out. Um, yeah, we've got a lot here to get out, but you know, we used a lot of this space for our plants because we're coming up to farm. So we started a lot of plants prior to coming up here. So when we got up here, we had stuff to plant. So it's a lot of that, a lot of row covers, tables. All right, well, we're gonna keep at it. Are you ready? Yeah. So we got a lot of the plants unloaded. Actually, I think all the plants. Unfortunately, we couldn't take all of them with us, but we fit still a ton in here. We've got these big tables that we need to unload, so then we'll drive them over to where the greenhouse will be. We have our soil box. We'll do a bunch more. We've just been taking things out because we got to return this U-Haul at the end of the day. So we already dropped off the water toad out there and now it's, we got everything out from inside. We had under the tables, inside the tables, all packed with boxes and yeah, now it's all clear. And Sunday it just poured down rain so if we had waited another day we would have been un unloading, unloading in, the in the rain which we could have done but that wouldn't have, have sucked. yeah wouldn't have been as easy what do you think of all this rain well we knew it was going to be raining but like this yeah <laughs> I guess she was a little more prepared for the week than I was but uh, there's not much we can do outside yeah and then so we got the U-Haul unpacked, got all our stuff out, and then it was like, okay, let's get organized. Yeah, that took that took some time. But it was not it was raining when we got up here mm -hmm. first couple days, so it gave us some something to do in the rain. Yeah, you know? to get organized inside. So this is the kitchen right now. We just literally had to stack everything in there and then there's like a little pathway to be able to just prep some stuff. About to make our celery. Um, then made our lemon waters, and I'm gonna put all of our supplements, our little bit of tinctures that we take in the morning. Putting those all together, but yeah, today I'm gonna focus on getting this kitchen organized so we can actually have it functioning. Um, in here, yeah, quite a mess, so. This is gonna get organized too, but the kitchen is gonna take priority. And then we decided, okay, let's start getting the greenhouse up, right? Yeah, that was that our was, first task. That was like our first thing, and we started doing the greenhouse, and then um, as we were putting up the frame, one of the frames fell, and poor little Ashley here. <laughs> Hurt her thumb pretty bad, was, so she was kind of out of, out of, uh, commission. Commission, yeah. yeah for, my, my left thumb was swollen pretty bad, so I couldn't really use it. <clears throat> I had to keep icing it, keeping it elevated, and it took it a while for it to heal, um, and that <laughs> slowed me down with the unpacking uh -huh. as well, and then it was hard because then you know, he had to be putting up the greenhouse by himself, so we... No. 
I had one extra hand. You, <laughs> I had one hand. To, you know, we were eager to get that greenhouse up because it was unfortunately still frosting. So yep. we had we had brought up all of these, um, you know, plants that been started from seed back at our house in the Bay Area, and they were all outside here. And the frost was supposed to be done. It, you know, spring had come, but yeah, it's like the still frost. last frost date was like March. 14th or something and then we got hit with what four or five frosts at least so yeah. it was like the plants did find the first frost but then it just kept happening over and over and over again and we mm. lost unfortunately lost pretty much all the tomatoes we brought up all the peppers all the heat loving crops that we needed the greenhouse to yeah stay alive we lost a couple fruit trees but then they came back so Man, it is April 2nd, and it is freaking freezing. <laughs> Look at this. My wheelbarrow water is completely frozen. That's nuts. It's April, and we're still getting these freezing cold frosts. I'm just, I'm just completely thrown by all of this <laughs> because it's supposed to not be frosting whatsoever right now and we've had three frosts this week the weather is just uh, out of control there's no telling what what to expect going forward the only thing that we can do is use things to protect these plants from frost and you know, this greenhouse I'm working on behind me, I'm gonna really step it up and try to get this done in the next two days. And if I can get this done in the next two days, all those plants that you just saw that are being affected by this frost, well, hopefully they will be in this greenhouse staying nice and warm. Well, you can see another, another frost, another white table day. I left my jacket out here yesterday. You can see what the frost did to that. <laughs> you know, we got the greenhouse going. That was kind of like the next task. And yeah. we kept saying, I remember getting up every morning, okay, we're gonna finish the greenhouse today. <laughs> and it was like, uh, no. We'd get like a little bit done. And yeah. it was just like, we had no idea how long it, was gonna take and right. we just kept running into problems and had to run into the into town to grab parts you know and it was just this ongoing yeah ongoing delay where we couldn't get it up and yeah. then finally I think in mid-April we ended up getting it up right? mid to end of April some family came up mid-April and that definitely helped us to get it complete and I think it was towards the end of April that it was like final um, yeah we had the the greenhouse frame up then we had to build the end wall and right. then we had to get the plastic on and then when my family got up here it was like perfect timing because help with all the plastic we couldn't get the plastic up just me and Ash so yeah. we got help with that and then the greenhouse was up and now it was time to... Then we could get the beds going. Get the beds going. So. We had no be I mean, we had two beds that Ben had built last summer, but that you was know, it. we needed a lot more than that. So that's something that we yeah, couldn't start until the greenhouse was done. And um, we green Greenhouse was done. The first bed, I think, went in beginning of May. Yeah. So from May, June, July... Now we're in August, so like within like three months, we basically built, you know, there's like 18, 19 beds, and they're almost 50 feet long, and a lot of work. we couldn't just, you know, take a pitchfork and turn the soil that way, because about six inches un under is just rock. You know, we're, we're building this, this garden on an old riverbed. 
you know, we had to basically bring the soil in. Started to get some beds going. You can see the beds there. They still need to add the sand to it and the compost and then the amendments and then those will be good to be planted in. And I've got some seeds that are ready to be planted, so I'm looking forward to uh, moving on to that next step. Right, yeah, we had compost delivered. Yeah, so when did we get the compost? Uh, that was mid-April, right when your family came. Okay, so it was yeah. like mid-April, we got a delivery of about 80 cubic yards of soil. <laughs> And so the, the compost is what we added to the sand in the forest floor and that pretty much made up our beds. Mm -hmm. And so we had to do that over and over <laughs> and over again. How many loads do you think? What did we say? Man, at least 700 loads. Yeah, just wheelbarrow loads. Wheelbarrow loads. From and the forest and the sand. So I've been doing wheelbarrow after wheelbarrow after wheelbarrow and my sciatic nerve is acting up. So today Ashley's giving me a little break and wait till you see what she's doing. I'm going to show you right now. Come on. How's it going over here? Oh gosh. Wow, you've really done a lot up here. Well, you helped. So, would you tell them what you've been doing? I've been digging soil, putting it in the wheelbarrow, and then bringing it to the garden bed where you then mix it with the compost and you pick out the rocks. Cool. So, you can see this is an old road bed here. And all we're doing is just clearing off this road bed. And we're using the soil that's on this road bed to make our beds. So there you go. So we're just kind of moving our way along the, the uh, road here. And today, Ashley decided to take some loads. Yes, I'm working my muscles. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go girl. Yeah, and we right. were doing we were doing about 12 loads a day when we you first You did most of the loads. I would help sometimes, but but we did it together. <laughs> and so we ended up doing a lot lots of lots of loads of dirt. So it was kind of mm -hmm. rough on the body. So then we got all the beds in, and we're still adding beds even to today. Um, and you'll see in yeah. a second here. We're gonna, we're gonna what? Take them around. Yeah, take we're gonna them around and kind of show you guys you. a little tour of the greenhouse and all the beds and what we're growing. We will be doing other videos going into more detail on how we did the greenhouse, how we did the beds, what we planted, right? Things like that. Yeah. Yeah, everything that we basically have done so far, we're going to throw some, we're going to do like a, a rewind, blast from the past and do some, <laughs> do, do some old videos so you can see how we got the greenhouse up and how we got our beds going and how we do soil blocks and, you know, there's going to be a bunch of videos coming out. So this won't be like the official farm tour, this will be like... <laughs> A little preview just so you could see what we've accomplished since we've been up here. I know yeah. we've been getting lots of comments and questions from people. Hey, you know, when when are we going to see the, the yeah, garden? We and haven't shown you guys too much. Lots to show you. Lots to show you. So I think what we're going to do now is just uh, walk around and maybe just kind of show them what yeah, we have going on. Come on, let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.